the single strand diamond knot, the Celtic um, button knot, the Chinese button knot. I've seen this one with various different names. Um, I think it's also called a Turk's head stopper knot. But in this particular case, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to tie the single strand diamond knot. And basically this stopper knot here doesn't have the working end coming out like this one. And here's one I've done in paracord as well, just to show it can be done in paracord. So what we're going to do today is I will show you both these methods. One where the lead is coming out so you can carry on with your decorative work. Or if you want to have a nice symmetrical diamond style stopper knot, um, we're going to do this one as well. So, Johnny, shut up talking and let's get knotting. And I'll see you on the other side. All right, so here I have my piece of cord that I'm going to tie our knot in. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I will lay it out like this to show you, just makes it easier to see. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a loop in my cord like so. So basically what I've done is I've folded it over on itself so it goes underneath, round and over itself again. And just pull that up a little bit tighter like so. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same again. Tie a second loop like so. Tie a loop. I didn't create a loop like so. So we've got two loops exactly the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass one slightly over the other one so that you can see the right hand edge of the first loop that we created there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my working end here and I'm going to pass it down through there, underneath that one, over that one and then under that one again. So if I take it now, I'm passing it underneath, bringing it up through. So let me just show you that. See, there you see, it's gone over that one, under that one, it's going over that one. And the next one is it's going under this one here. And then just pull that tight, but keep your thumb in there because we want to save that little loop there for later. So there we have it. Let's just bring that little bit more into the picture. And now what I do is I take my working end, I bring it round, and what I do now is I pass it over that loop where we had our thumb through, and then bring it up there through the middle of the complete setup itself, not whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is go over that one, and then underneath everything, and then bring it out through that gap there, and just gently pull up. And there we go. We now, This is our knot. Looks a mess, but this is our knot. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just pull out all the slack in here so that eventually it will all fall into place and it will look like a nice decorative stopper knot. And anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. But whatever you do, please comment, especially if you don't like it. Leave me a comment and then I know what's wrong with my videos and I can improve them in future. And so as you can see now here, I'm going round and I'm taking out all the slack. And you can see gradually as I take it out and you sort of play with it and pull it into the right position, you can see here now that a nice little diamond shaped stopper knot is appearing in our cordage and then just gently go around pull up all the slack like so and there it is okay and so now that could be done a little bit tighter but you can see here now we've got a nice little symmetrical knot in our rope work so if say for example we had two strands Coming off like here, we've got two strands. I've cut this one too short now, but if we've got two strands here on a knife lanyard, say for example, we could have a second stopper knot, button knot, Celtic knot, diamond knot, you know what I mean, at that end there. So just so it makes you the ends of your work look a little bit more decorative. Now what you can do is you can actually cut this off 
at that point and then make it flush. So there you go, we've now tied a respectable looking diamond knot in the end of our lanyard. And what I would do now is I would personally, look, there's still a lot of slack in there. I would personally go around and tighten it all up nice and tight to get out all the slack and so you have a nice tight knot at the end of your lanyard there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna undo this again and I'll show you how to tie it again. Okay, so I'll see you back on the other side in a second. Okay, so here we are again, once again, all untied. And there's my working end, standing end. And I'm just gonna lay it flat on the table like so. And then once again, what I'm going to do is take up the right hand side and just form a loop over itself like so at that point. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same again. Form another loop, taking it over itself like so, and then just gently push them together so that that middle piece, I can see it there. The next thing I'm going to do is take my working end and I'm going to pass it over that one, under that one, over that one, under that one, okay? So it's over, under, over, under. So over, under, over, under like so. Pull it through, but keep your thumb there to keep that loop that you're creating behind it in its wake there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my working end like so, and I'm gonna pass it over that one there, underneath those two that are side by side, and up through that middle point there. And so all I'm gonna do is just bring it round, pass it over, like so, and then it's going underneath two, like so. There it comes out the middle, and then now I can pull it up fairly tightly, and then all I've got to do is just work my way around the cord and pull out all the slack that's in it, and we end up with that lovely diamond knot. So let's just do that. There you go, you can see we're starting to get the shape now. There's still a lot of slack in there. Pull out all the slack, just so you end up with a nice tight little um, diamond knot, Celtic knot, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and there we go, it's starting to appear now. And then I would go around personally and just tighten that even more. There's a nice symmetrical knot. And with this one here, I've got my cord coming in, my cord coming out, so I could go ahead and put something decorative on either end there. Or if I want to, what I've done is, the end has been cut flush here, tucked inside, and I've created myself a nice diamond stopper knot to the end of my work. And so that's basically it. It's very, very simple. It's a very quick, easy, simple way of tying a nice diamond-shaped Celtic knot in the end of your lanyard. And once again, I also said, yeah, it can be done in paracord, and there it is in paracord. So that brings me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please do share this video so other people can watch this as well, okay? Once again, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.